Well, if you know anything about Argentina, you probably know where it's located. You've heard about Evita, and you know about El Che, and you think about tango, and you might know about mate, our national drink, and you think of gauchos, and you might know that we have great barbecues and awesome candy. We also love music, not just tango, but also folk and, and now rock. And of course, there's our passion for football and our heroes, Maradona and, and now Messi. But you'd be missing something if you don't know about Truco, our national game. Well, Truco stands for trick. And it really symbolizes everything about the Argentine character, a mix of a viveza or cleverness and strategy and smartness, ability to detect patterns and also the ability to survive and make the best of any situation you may be in. The most similar American game to Truco is probably poker. Um, as in poker, you can win if you have great luck and you get great cards, but it's also how you play, how you make the best of what you're dealt, and also the ability to recognize patterns in players, Players have personalities almost. Um, so all those these features make Truco a game with a lot of different dimensions and one that I think you really will enjoy. So let's start learning Truco. Hi, so let's play, uh, let's play Truco now. First of all, some disclaimers. Uh, I'm covering about 90% of the, of the rules or of the game. Uh, I'm sure that people will explain to you the uh, certain idiosyncrasies or certain situations that may occur. Uh, you learn as you go, but I think uh, today I'm going to cover the, the basics. And, um, and also, another thing is, before you start, you should um, agree with the people you're playing with uh, what rules you're going to use, what cards or whatever. For example, if you're going to use floor, Floor is um, flower. It, it means three cards of the same suit. Typically, we don't play with that, so I'm not going to even cover it. Um, cards. So we use we we use uh, Spanish cards. Forty forty cards, uh, which come in f uh, these different suits. You got you got the uh, gold. You got the cup. You have a stick or Basto, we call it, or uh, the sword, um, spade. So those are the two, the four uh, suits and uh, 40 cards. Uh, people, you play, you can play with two people, just you and me, you know, playing, and it's a great way of, uh, that's a great way of, of learning and rehearsing and getting ready. It's much better if you play with four. And it's awesome when you play with six, but uh, it's rare that that happens because you can never find the six people in the same caliber, same skill level. So uh, more often than not, you play with four. When you play with four, you sit like this around a table. You got the, the team one facing one another, and then team two. If you play with six, you play like this. So you have, you have interspace, you interlace the players, if you will. and and someone uh, distributes the cards um, and uh, hands off the cards. They go in the, let's see, they go in this direction. And the first person is the mano or hand. And the last person is the foot. And where that is important is that in cases where there's ties, the mano wins uh, in, a, in, that, in those situations. Also, when you play in groups, what happens if you play uh, um, two against two, uh, these two players have to communicate with each other, and, and these two players, and they and you make facial gestures to communicate, and I'll cover that in a little while. But usually, the last person um, uh, says the words or calls out uh, what you're gonna do. So, um, so for example, if these two people are playing, and this person just uh, handed out the cards. Um, this person will be telling this person what to say, and um, yeah, so more about that later. Anyway, um, so you play two, four, or six. Um, you play to 30 points. So whoever gets to 30 points first wins. 
sometimes you can play to 15, but more, uh, you usually play to 30, 30 points. So what happens you have, if you have many rounds? You have many rounds with three cards in each round. So we're going to talk about a round because that in a round, that's where you, um, you get the points. And you get the points with uh, either of these two situations or these two phases of the round, uh, two opportunities uh, to, to gather points. One is called Envido and the other one Truco. So let me get some space here. So you have Envido and Truco. These are two independent situations or opportunities with which you can uh, gain points within a round. Again, the round consists of three cards. So if I'm playing, uh, if I'm playing against you, uh, I would have three cards. I, I put a card, you put a card, I put a card, you put a card, and, and you put a third card, and the other person puts another card. But during that round, you, um, you call out um, different, uh, either an Envido or Truco or both. So you, 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 the first one is Envido. Let's cover Envido. So Envido, uh, Envido means that two of the cards have the same suit. Like, so for example, if this were my cards, I would have an Envido, um, and, and I would use this, I would say Envido. Now, I don't have to have an Envido. I could just say Envido just to scare the other person. What do I mean? When I say Envido, the other person uh, can say, no, I don't want it, or they can override it with another Envido or Real Envido. And as you do that, uh, you are up, upping the ante and you're adding points uh, to whoever wins. So, for example, if I say Envido and the other person says, quiero, I want it, that's worth two points. If I say Envido and the person says, no, then it's one point. If I say Envido and they say Real Envido, then it goes to four points, I believe. And, uh, and then there's another one called Falta Envido, which is for the whole game. But, so how do you count an Envido to know who wins? Because you, you, you say how many points you have, and then the other person says, uh, those are good, or, or, the other, or, or the other person says, no, I have more points, and they, they give you uh, whatever points they have. So th when you have the two cards of the same suit, uh, suit uh, by default, you get 20 points, no matter what. So you get 20 points plus this point. So for example, 7 and 3 is um, uh, 10 plus 20, 30. So this would be worth 30. If you have, if you have an Envido that has two face cards, the face cards are worth a zero. So you have 20 plus zero, this would be 20 points. Once again, with Envido as with Truco, you could, you could call it out, um, you could, you could challenge the other person saying Envido and the other person could say, I don't want it, no quiero, and you get one point. Um, so you can scare people, you can pretend that you have it and you don't have it. And, and the other person can up the ante having nothing just to scare the other person and say, no, no, it sounds like that person has an Envido. So Envido is one way to get points. And the other way is Truco. But before I even start talking about Truco, let me make something very clear. These two words, you got to be very careful about these words. You can never, you should never use them unless you mean to use them. Because if you uh, casually say something, blah, 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 envido, then they can hold you to it and say, okay, you said envido, so let's go at it. And if you don't have any points and, and the other person has more, uh, then you lose those points. And, and many times, tricky Argentines will uh, get you to say the words. So just be careful. Don't use them unless you mean to use them. So let's talk about truco. So we know there's a round. You go through the envido stage and you get or you don't get points depending on the on the cards. But you don't show the points until the end of that round. So remember to show your cards because if you don't show your cards, they could say, "Oh, you didn't have it," so we get the points instead of you. So you got that stage. Now you have the truco. Truco is um, remember I said that I uh, we play the three hands within the round, whoever wins two out of three wins the truco stage. Truco, by default, if, if nothing is called out, it's worth uh, one point. So if nothing happens and you go, um, 
and you, you fold, uh, then it's just uh, one point, whoever wins two out of three. Um, but well, let's talk about Truco. Truco says that you, you will challenge the, your opponent. You say, Truco, the other person can say, no quiero, I don't want it. Or they can say, quiero retruco, which is makes it, instead of two points, which is uh, Truco, you make it three points. And if you really feel confident or you want to scare the opponent, you say, quiero vale cuatro. I want it worth four. Quiero vale cuatro. And that means it's four. So what happens? You, uh, whoever wins two out of three, wins. Now, how do you know who wins? Here's where we get to the value of the cards. It's, it's hard to remember, so it's okay to have a sheet of uh, by your side with those values. You can um, take a, a photocopy of the uh, a copy of, of that uh, of that image I had before, but but I'll I'll go through it because it's kind of cool. Um, so you have this is the uno de espadas, and it's a uh, one of source. This is the most important card. This this is the best card. When you get this card, you feel so great. You get warm fuzzy feeling inside because you know you 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 got God on your side. You have the strength. The light is with you. Um, however, just by having the one alone uh, may not win you the hand because let's say I have a one and ten which is uh, medium and then four which is uh, the worst. Um, I may I may uh, you know lose two hands and still I may win one but but I still win two, uh, lose two out of three so it doesn't do you that well uh, that that well so um, let's see. So that's the best card, right? Then comes this guy. This guy can beat any card except the one we just saw. Uno de basto. Um, seven of spades, okay? So this is the third best card. Then seven of gold. Then come all the threes. That's it. That's a good card. It's, it's an okay card. You could win the first hand with this. Usually you use something like this for your first hand. Then... Um, then come the twos, then come the other ones, get it, the other ones, um, the other ones, and then after that come the figures, you got the ten, the twelves, all the twelves, all the elevens, all the tens, then the other sevens which we didn't have before, then you have the sixes, then you have the fives, and then you have the fours. So when you have a hand Let's say you get a, a hand like this. You uh, you get a, a five, a four, and let's say you have a ten. This is a pretty crappy hand, definitely. However, it's a good hand for an MV, though. You got four plus five is nine, plus twenty, twenty-nine. So you could play this hand, go for the MV, though, get points there, and then just fall. Uh, or play it out, see what happens. Sometimes the other player may have a bad card, a bad, a bad hand, and you can still win with this, but I'm saying that this is a pretty crappy hand for the tru Truco stage. It could be good for the Envido. Remember, you get points either with Envido or Truco or both. Um, let's see. Now, what, what really is cool about when you play two on two is that sometimes you have to communicate your cards to the, the foot of, the, of your team, the, the second, the one that goes last. So when you have this guy... This is this sign you make. You you uh, lift your your eyebrows. This guy is a wink. This guy is a seven this way, and then this is guy is a seven that way. Threes are like this, and then twos are kisses, and then the other ones are like this, and then the other cards don't have any symbols. But um, in Truco and Vido and everything about this game, you lie, you can, you can do anything you want. Pretend, uh, scare the opponent, whatever. But the one thing you cannot do is, in your sign language with your partner, you're not allowed to make, to, to, to lie then. The other team could call you on that, which is uh, ironical. That, uh, it's ironic that in one game that it's all about cheating and tricking and pretending, that's the one thing that you have to um, be straight about. So that's pretty much all the rules. Um, let me let me pretend uh, that I'm playing against you. I'm going to pretend that I have this and that I have. Um, I'll make it a really good hand. This and this and then some crappy card like uh, like uh, maybe uh, let's make it like a ten, right? Let's say that uh, not this ten because that will 
confuse you. Um, let's say I have this guy, this 10. So let's say this is my hand. And let's say I go first. I may say, um, envido, uh, and, uh, and I don't want to be too happy. This is pretty good. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 20 is 28. I don't want to be... Um, to appear too happy because that could scare them. I could just say, oh, what the heck, envido. And they may say, they may say, um, quiero, I want it. So I have to tell them the points. I say 28, and they may say 29 are better, or they say 28 are good. So that means I already have two points for that round. Now notice one thing, and this is one of the cool things about Truco that, that poker doesn't have, that just because I said 28, that gives the other team or the other the, your opponent some idea of what cards you may have. It's it, an eight, a twenty-eight. The only way you can get there is if you have a, a seven and a one. Um, so the other team is hoping it's not one of these guys. Um, that it's another set like cups or whatever. Uh, but but what the point being in that there there is some information that the other team can get by the points of your video as to what cards you may have or not. And that's where the game starts getting complicated but incredibly interesting. So let's say I go through the video. I probably may not want to play one of these guys because if I play one of them, they'll know what else I have. So I may go soft on the first hand with a 10. Now the other team may beat the 10 because that's easy. And now they're confident because they won one, one, out of the, one out of three. And they may say truco. And of course, I want to go, okay, quiero retruco, knowing definitely well that I'm going to win. It's very hard. It's almost impossible for me to lose this. Other than if um, they play the basto, uh, that would make them win two out of three. But, uh, but so I would say quiero retruco. I would hope that they would say quiero vale cuatro. And, and we would play out the other two hands. And, um, and at that point, I would see that I would I won two out of three, so um, uh, so I would have I would have um, let's see if we did the quiero vale cuatro that would give me four points plus the two points that I had from the envido that that round would be worth six points to me, and so again whoever gets to thirty points uh, first wins the truco game. Um, well. The best way to learn is like with anything else to play it and uh, practice and uh, and watch other people play, uh, but it's a very subtle game um, and it's it's so much fun. Um, I've always loved to play it and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.